Sam Smith's incredible house in Buckinghamshire is a sight to behold. The singer, 30, often posts snaps of themselves posing up a storm in the palatial pile, which even has its own pub. The Latch star ruffled feathers recently with a video to their latest track Him Not Here to Make Friends. However, after seeing the star's mega mansion in the countryside, we're sure they're not short of pals. Sam's pad comes complete with a pub called The Fat Fairy, giving the artist the perfect place to unwind after a day's filming. The watering hole, which is made from a renovated barn, features a crystal chandelier, pool table, and life-size Ewok statue. If inspiration strikes after enjoying a few mocktails, Sam has been sober since 2018, they can then pop into the recording studio, which is nestled in the property's grounds. The studio also features a grand piano along with statues of golden flamingos and palm trees. Elsewhere in the property, wood paneling gives the home a country cottage feel, but the pad isn't Sam's main home. The singer also has a £12 million property in Hampstead, London, which they purchased in 2019. They told Billboard magazine they have been investing in property in order to make the most of their money, adding they like to escape to the countryside after a busy week in the capital. The video for Sam's track Not Here to Make Friends was also filmed in the country at the stunning Ashridge House in Hertfordshire. In the footage, the singer can be seen writhing around in sequins accompanied by a host of scantily clad dancers. The video has sparked a furious debate online, with many calling for it to be banned. However, while some have complained it is hypersexualized, others have argued the Gloria hitmaker is simply being authentic and finally embracing their sexuality. Some critics have called for the video, which features Sam frolicking in a corset and suspenders with nipple covers, to be age-restricted on platforms such as YouTube by claiming it normalizes pornography. However, Sam's army of fans have insisted the video is empowering. This beautiful journey of finding yourself is glorious and we're here for it. Ignore the haters, one wrote on their Instagram. But journalist Alex Phillips condemned the clip, calling it unhealthy for society. You have had to edit a lot of that video down to be able to show it on television, they said. The point is that teenagers and young people are the audience who are watching these things and it doesn't come with a block. They are fully available on YouTube and TikTok, 